Hey there, I'm Taylor Ingram, Field Service Engineer for Chart Industry. Today we're going to go over the proper filling procedure for a CARE Liberator 45 base unit. This same fill procedure is going to apply for any of our base units, the Helios or the Companion, but today we're going to focus on the Lib and demonstrate with the Liberator. First thing, before you work with any liquid oxygen or fill any tanks, make sure you are dressed for success and properly dressed to deal with cryogenic materials. As you know here, I've got on a cryogenic apron, cryogenic gloves, and also uh, eye protection, either safety glasses or side shields if you already have glasses. Also want to make sure that you have on long pants uh, and closed toe shoes as well as pants without cuffs on them. And that's all important for working with any cryogenic material like liquid oxygen. Once you're ready to go, let's talk about the bulk tank that you're going to be filling from today. As you can see here, we just have a regular liquid oxygen cylinder. Uh, very important thing about when you're filling off of a source tank like this is the actual pressure inside of the tank. The storage pressure inside of this tank is 50 PSI, as you can see by the gauge here. To fill any of our liquid oxygen units, the pressure inside of your source tank needs to be between 35 and 50 PSI. And that does not mean that it needs to be regulated down. That's actually the storage pressure inside of this tank. In other words, the relief valve on this tank that we have is set to 50 PSI. So once you have your source between 35 and 50 PSI, remember no regulators to regulate the flow down. It needs to be direct from the source. And also make sure that you do not vent any pressure off. Make sure that the actual storage pressure is between 35 and 50 PSI. To prepare your source, we already have a standard transfer hose attached here, but you do want to make sure that all of your uh, connections are tight. Just take an open end wrench and make sure all your connections are tight here. Also want to make sure that you have the proper fill connector. This is our standard side fill connection here that fills a top fill unit and a side fill unit. Make sure that your connection here is tight and also secure as well. All right, now that we've got our source tank ready to go, you will also want to prepare the liberator to be filled. It is very, very crucial that you monitor the pressure inside of this liberator through the entire filling process. This liberator does not have a built-in pressure gauge, so we're going to have to attach an external pressure gauge to monitor the pressure. As you can see here, I've got a 0 to 100 PSI gauge, 0 to 60 gauge will work too if you have one of those. And on the end, one of the Christmas tree DISS adapters. You'll attach the Christmas tree DISS adapter to the flow outlet of the tank. Once you have the pressure gauge attached, you will turn your flow control valve to a setting of 2.0 liters per minute or higher. This allows the pressure to be read. All right, after you have your pressure gauge attached, the last step in fill preparation is to prevent moisture infiltration into your liberator when you fill it. First step to do this is to wipe off the fill connectors, both on your liberator and on your fill head. Both the QDV fill connectors need to be wiped off. Do this with a clean and dry, lint-free cloth. Just wipe off very carefully to remove any moisture, because what would happen if moisture is on there, on these QDVs, it will freeze, turn into ice, and go down into the tank when you fill. This can cause liquid to leak out. It can also cause problems internally that ice can cause inside of the tank. So you wipe off this fill connector, and you wipe off this fill connector on the fill head as well. One last step to moisture infiltration and preventing that is to purge your transfer line. This will be the last thing you'd want to do before you start filling. So at this point, you can go ahead and turn on your liquid valve on your source tank. And you'll want the easiest way to purge the transfer line is to take your side fill poppet here on the side and depress it against the side of the tank until you see liquid start to spray out. Alright, so we've got all the moisture off, we've got our liberator ready to go, and we've got our source tank ready to go. Again, one more time, very important, the pressures during this. Remember the bulk tank needs to be between 35 and 50 PSI. That's where its relief valve settings need to be. Again, this one we're filling from is a 50 PSI tank today. Okay? Again, you don't need to open the vent valve and vent it down, just straight 50 PSI into the tank. So at this point, our liquid valve has already been opened from where we purged. We're ready to begin filling. So you want to take your two hands 
press straight down, aligning the two blue fill connectors. And after you do that, open your vent valve on the tank. And this begins the filling process. So the pressure gauge that we attached in the last step needs to be monitored at all times during the fill. The pressure inside of the tank needs to be maintained between about 18 and 24 PSI. Uh, ideally, it should be right at the operating pressure of the economizer valve on your reservoir, but 18 to 24 PSI is a good range for all care tanks across the board. If the pressure gets a little bit too high, as you notice on the gauge there, it kind of throttles up and down while you're filling. If the pressure gets too high, you can open the vent valve a little bit more to lower the pressure. And if the pressure gets a little bit too low, you can close the vent valve a little bit to raise it. So basically the entire time that you're filling, you throttle or open and close the vent valve using the wrench uh, to keep the pressure where it's supposed to be at all times during the fill. This is crucial. If the pressure is too high or too low in the fill, the tank and the portables filled off of it may not operate properly. So continue to monitor the pressure until the tank is full. You know the tank is full when the vapor cloud coming out of the vent valve turns to liquid and begins to sputter. You'll hear this sputtering noise and note the dense cloud as you see here in the video. At this time, close your vent valve, use your pop-off assembly to remove the fill head, and your reservoir is full.